Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Daniel and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that all of you shining, beautiful people are here today. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to put a crown cap on a bottle. Believe it or not, it's actually extremely simple. I have this manually operated capper. It's not a press, it's just a normal bottle capper that you set on top, squeeze it, and it takes the flared crown cap and then caps your bottle so that you're good to go. So um, I really have no intentions of overcomplicating this. So once you have actually cleaned, sanitized your bottle, you put whatever you're going to be putting in your bottle into your bottle, then you put the cap on the bottle, and let's just see how this thing operates. So this closes together, and then this part right here pushes down on the cap and deflares the cap so that it has a great seal. This plate goes right on, it's even magnetic. Look at that, look how beautifully intelligent that is. It's magnetic, holds it right in place, and then it clamps on right around the neck of the bottle. And I'm simply pushing down and it deflares it. And you do not have to push down to the point that you're going to snap this device in half. Just push it down until you have that nice flush line and then you release. Voila. So if you go down in the description below, I have a link to this wonderful bottle capper that really does a great job at capping bottles. I mean, it's a super simple device for a super simple task. Then I also have a link to bottle caps as well. So whenever you're watching my videos, I always recommend you check out the description because I have more info, more content, and then links to useful products. As always, I'm so glad that you wonderful people are here watching these videos. I hope that they're helpful. I hope that I'm helping you guys out on your journey of brewing, of bottling, and just enjoying the wonderful beverages that you're creating. I'm glad that all of you are here and I hope that you truly are enjoying yourselves. If you wanna see what I've been working on, you can go ahead and follow the link above to check out a video of how I just made my last batch of hard cider. Or you can check out this link above and see how I made one gallon of delicious blackberry wine that is almost ready for bottling. And that will be a completely different video to look forward to in the future. So once again, thank you all for being here and I hope that you all have an absolutely fantastic day. I'll see you guys next time.